uh, use a cantrip and start to make uh, food appear in the fire and cats and books and books and cats and books and cats and books and cats <laughs> and all the things that they will enjoy in the tower tomorrow night. All that can be yours. Talk to your leader. Also, oh. I do tarot card readings. <laughs> that could be fun. She knows that's a nice offer. Do you want me to read your tarot cards? Certainly. Really? You know, I learned this from Molly. Does that change your opinion of it? No, I'm just curious. Okay. Oh, oh well then, sit down with me. No. And we'll sit down across from Lucian. I grab Bo by the wrist just to quiet her. Okay. Give me a second. He sits in front of you, his sword's clanging at the side. I'll take out the deck of cards and I'll fan them out in front of him and say, choose three cards. (laughs) Said cards at the side, reading very clearly the the lack of confidence in the delivery. (laughs) Set them in order in front of you. He does so. Okay. Okay, so this is the card wow. of your past. And I look down at it. This card. We can pick. Oof. Uh-oh. This card is history and the dream. How fucking crazy is that? Oh my god. He gives a <laughs> smile and a nod. Eyes unblinking. Oh. A massive creature shatters a city. Shut up, that's so fucking perfect, what? Okay, flip the next card. Ooh, this is your present. The tyrant. Two dragons fight each other in a figure eight. The one facing you is red. Hmm. Your last card, this is your future. This is the card. Facing you is death. That's not necessarily a bad thing, Lucien. You know, some people think that death means a rebirth. Something must end for something new to begin. His right hand twitches, like twice. How do you feel? Thank you, that was interesting. I've always been oddly curious from a distance about such strange uh, hobbies. Thank you for indulging in the offer. Of course, they gather up the cards. He stands up and kind of walks uncomfortably towards the, uh, the rest of the tomb takers.